Hello everybody, Tungsten here, and I'm going to play a game called The Lion Song. Uh, this game is a point-and-click episodic game, and right now it is free on Steam for episode 1. So I guess they kind of want you to try out the game, and if you like it, you can buy the season pass, which I think is a pretty good business model. Uh, but let's have a read at the Steam description to find out what this game is about. The Lion Song Episode 1, Silence, draws the player into the life of talented young composer Wilma, preparing for her breakthrough concert, the defining moment of her career. Searching for inspiration, she escapes from the pressure of, for success to the solitude of the Austrian Alps. So, this game, according to the description, seems like just kind of a relaxing sort of game where you find out the story of this person and uh, what, he, what she's going through. And uh, from the screen I'm looking at right now, I'm assuming episode 2, 3, and 4 are uh, for about separate people and I guess their um, lives and how they deal with pressure. So let's get started and find out what uh, this game is about. Milk Train Station. Do you have enough socks? You need plenty of socks. It's very cold there. Mama, you packed the suitcase yourself. It's stuffed with socks. Well, I hope there's other stuff in there too. All aboard, all aboard for Vienna. You will write your mother, won't you? Every day, Papa, I promise. You're such a liar, but I love you anyway. <laughs> all aboard, last call for Vienna. Okay, got it, Jesus. Mama, let the boy go. You will get in trouble if he's late. My dear boy, take care, take care. Yes, Mama and Papa. You take care too. Well, it's a bit late to say that, don't you think? I don't think they can see you. Take care! Wilma first left them on this very train. Now me. Yeah, I thought the story was about Wilma. Why does this guy have anything to do with it? Vienna Musica Academy. Okay. Hopefully I pronounced that right, but I'm assuming that means the Music Academy. Oh, okay, so I can click on things. So let's click on myself. Arthur, where are you? You asked me to come to your office. Here I am. Waiting. Maybe at last you want to talk. About us? I thought they were siblings, were they not? But you're so shy, Arthur. You don't know how to begin. Oh, don't be silly, Wilma. You keep hoping it will happen. But it never will. Okay, maybe I misunderstood. I honestly thought they were from the same family. I'm glad you're here. I just had to see you. Sorry, I'm late. Where, uh, why did you want to see me, professor? Oh, so it's a professor. Okay, alright. So I completely misunderstood the situation. It was a completely different person. Not from the same person as uh, on the train. Sorry. <laughs> why did you want to see me, professor? Where have you been? Or I haven't been waiting long. Well... I feel like I've been waiting for quite a bit because she looks impatient right now and I don't care where he is so I'm gonna ask him what do you want to see me professor because I am interested is it going to happen as Wilma says please call me Arthur <laughs> all right Arthur what do you want to see me well to be quite honest yes Wilma oh is it gonna happen is he gonna say it see this is gonna say it your performance at the salon, it was quite incredible. The guests could not believe their ears. Ugh. Arthur, I thought you were gonna finally make a move. Oh, yes, they seem to enjoy the music, because that's how I feel right now. I thought you were gonna make a move, Arthur, I honestly did. They seem to enjoy the music. They want to hear more from you, Wilma. We need to keep up the momentum. How is the new composition coming along? I feel like Arthur is a man consumed by his work and can't see that Wilma over here has a, has a little crush, has a little crush on, on this guy right here. It's more difficult than the others. I'm progressing. I don't want to show weakness because I want him to like me, so I'm going to say I'm progressing. Your music is so new. Of course it's new. I'm not plagiarizing. It entices. It challenges, I think. No, I know that we are about to achieve something great here. The future of music! Arthur, I'm... 
Yes, Arthur, you should chillax. Take a chill pill, okay? We must build on the success of your performances. If we stop now, we'll squander this opportunity. We have to keep moving. Keep working! We have to establish your name. Well, I'm... That, that is... Don't worry, Wilma. I'm a little bit intim intimidated by him as well. What is it? I've started composing it, but... But? Oh, Arthur, I'm stuck. I'm horribly, horribly stuck. I don't know how to complete it. Well, maybe Arthur can help. Wilma, don't say that. No, Wil Arthur, you're supposed to help her out. We've come so far. Everything we've worked for! I can't bear to let you down. Yeah, especially when you're singing those words. I know what's wrong. It's the pressure from the Institute. Everyone clamoring for your attention. Recognizing you on the street. And even more pressure from me. Yeah, I would like I like to think that Arthur is the singing type. That's why I make him sing. And it's uh, it's making a uh, little Wilma a little bit uh, a little bit awkward. You know, as a city, we can't change that. Well, that's true, I guess. <laughs> no, it's not you, Arthur. You said yourself, it's momentum. Hmm. What really bothers me is Arthur, because you are a little bit creepy, but I'm gonna say it's not you. You need to change. That's clear. Listen, I have a cabin in the mountains. Oh, <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> Arthur, slow down there for a bit. You'll be able to work there. I can't accept that. No, you've done too much for me already. Would you come with me? Oh, okay. Wilma. Let's play out this crush. Would you come with me? Uh, that will hardly help your reputation. Arthur, you are an idiot. You are oblivious. You need time alone. Or maybe he knows the quiet. Yes, quiet. I'll take care of things here. Arthur, I can't. I'm not asking. It's settled. A carriage will pick you up tomorrow. There are plenty of supplies in the cabin. Hmm, now maybe Obliv Arthur is not so oblivious. I think maybe he knows what's going on. It's just that he, uh, you know, he wants to distance himself from that kind of stuff. There are student teachers after all. But yes, pack likely. You're not bringing your old violin, are you? Of course I am. Playing that old violin relaxes me. You'll have to walk the last part of the way. It's quite a hike. I'll manage. Very well. I do think this is for the best. You will be completely alone. No distractions. Uh, somewhere in the Alps. Okay, so... So far, you know, first first impression, the pics, I like I said before in, in the last door video, uh, the uh, pixelated graphics just really amazes me. How, how much they can show you while showing you so little. I don't know if that makes sense, but I, I like that. Let's see, forest. Almost there. Just a little bit further. Uh-huh, anything else? Almost there, just a few more steps. Uh, cabin? Phew! Oh, okay, well, I guess I could have just skipped there. I have finally arrived. That's it. Arthur's cabin. Oh, Arthur, I hope so much that you're right. An inspiration is waiting for me down there. Well, let's hope that Arthur's right. Because I'm worried that once you get into that cabin, it's going to turn into a horror. Okay. Dark clouds hang over the mountains. Almost as if they are waiting for something. The wind is growing stronger. It won't be long until the storm is here. Alright, you're scaring me here. I'd better hurry. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, I'm hoping that it won't turn into a horror game, but now it looks like uh, a little bit horror-like. Looked like a storm is brewing. I might just make it before the rain. Alright, go, go, go. I'm pretty sure this is not a horror game, but it's just that it's funny how... <laughs> the things it says. Episode 1, Silence. Yeah, okay, that that sound, that looks like a horror game kind of title. Uh, yeah. I'm clicking, and nothing's happening. Oh, okay. If I can't click, why do they have the, the this cursor out? I made it just before the rain. Hopefully, it will stop soon. The walk up here was exhausting. Ew. Alright, Wilma, it's time to unpack your bag. 
All right, well, before I do that, which is obviously down here, uh, I am going to take a look around the, my surrounding. It has started to rain. How long will the storm continue? For a really long time, if I know uh, a game, uh, games like such as this. Paraffin lamp. The lamp casts a dim light. The flame dances quietly to and fro. And flares up briefly before subsiding. Oh, that's uh, flaring up is a little bit dangerous. I hope you have... Um, a fire extinguisher in there. My old violin. Despite its battered appearance, it still has the most beautiful tone. Yeah, I like to keep old things too and make people think that it still works while it's a com you know completely broken. Locked. Okay, so I guess I do have to find a key. I mean, how do you know it's locked? You haven't moved from your seat at all. That's kind of funny. Uh, letters. A pile of letters addressed to Arthur. Uh, again, she didn't move at all, and suddenly the letters appeared in her hand. I mean, I get it's a graphical kind of thing, like an artistic choice, but I still find it funny. A pile of letters addressed to Arthur. Should I read them? Read, congratulate, don't read any of the letters. Here's the thing. He's not here. Okay. Okay. And I'm very interested in Arthur. So, I'm going to read, congratulations! My dear Professor Cabin, or Caban. I don't want to mispronounce, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but yes. I would like to congratulate you. I had the honor to listen to a minor concert by your student, Wilma Dorfer, in the sal salon recently. Many in the audience seemed bewildered at first. Whom, excuse my expression, you'd have in tow. Uh, read on. I I'm interested to find out how my song is. There have been so many child prodigies, but this was different. As this young composer's music played, I couldn't quite believe my ears, but soon the strength of her music became clear to all, but at the same time enlightenment as did mine. Read on, I like I like compliments, I like compliments. My heartiest congratulations, you must be very proud. You have transformed this rough diamond into a brilliant gem. Okay. I mean I feel like diamonds are already pretty valuable, but okay. I will be eager to hear her next composition. Until then. Be so kind as to send my best regards to your young artist, your friend Gustav. Mm, I like that. I like being complimented. That that felt great. That felt good. I like that. Professor Caban, Cabin, I hope you may recall the stimulating uh, discussion we had recently in the salon. My name is Gretel Lewinizak. Lewiniz oh my God! I'm sorry if I butchered that name, but yes. And I'm a frequent visitor there. Some mistake me for a critic. I'm not. But I will describe myself rather as an intermediary. I unite creative minds, promote the exchange of ideas. In this culturally exhilarating time, read on. I got that was like mid sentence. Like many, I'm a great admirer of your early work. I have been following your initiative regarding modern music, and the young student who performed for us today is a most promising talent. Mmm. Again, yes. Compliment me. I hope we could continue our discussion at your convenience, of course. Yours in anticipation, Gretel Lonizak. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. Uh, this game takes place in Vienna. Uh, I, I don't speak Aust uh, German, so sorry. <laughs> My dear Arthur, I'm writing to you in the knowledge that, like me, you are a great admirer of every kind of art. Sadly, I know you missed a recent exhibition in the salon. The artist was a young man named Franz Marker. His paintings are very special. Portraits, but none like you will ever have seen. They seem somehow captured every facet of a person. When I saw them, I immediately thought of you. Luckily, I've managed to acquire one or two of his works. I'd like you to see them and tell me your opinion. To be honest, they remind me of the new music you are pursuing, and they are erotic in a very special way, male and female both. Erotic in a very special way. I would like to know what they mean by erotic in a very special way. I will be very interested to know what you think of them. Your friend, MF. There are no sketches here. They must be in Vienna. So, if I remember correctly, uh, these names that show up, um, they seem to be of European descent. And although I have lived in Europe, I am um, not familiar on how to pronounce them correctly, so you will have to forgive me if... Um, I butcher it, since this I guess this this game takes place in Vienna, uh, in Vienna, Austria. So, but we'll see. So I've read everything. 
Uh, don't read any of the letters, I guess. Maybe I'll read more later. Which, I already read all of them. Okay, Wilma, don't pretend that you only read a little bit. The melodies are strange. One of Arthur's old compositions. Hmm, why is it strange? You might want to explain that. Sounds a little bit mysterious. Tonal di Diversity by Professor Arthur C Cabin. I didn't know he had written a book. A poetry book. There are several poems in it. Rilke, Hoffman Stahl, and a few other authors. Let's see. Ah, here it is. The Panther. I will read it later. Oh, okay, well, what a tease. Uh, okay, okay, just saying the same thing. I thought you were going to read it right now. Alright, Everything Changes. A mathematical textbook about transformations by someone named E. Shell. Uh, why would uh, a music professor have a mathematical textbook? I wonder. The phone. I should unpack first. Alright, alright, alright. I heard you loud and clear. Oh, myself. What are you thinking, Wilma? Tell me, tell me. You should unpack first. Okay, well, you said that numerous times, I guess. I'm starving. There should be a sandwich in here somewhere. Music papers. That is not a sandwich. Uh, that is not a sandwich. Ah, here it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have been worried for a second. Oh, a letter. Who is it from? Uh, it says, Open upon arrival. My dear Wilma, I hope you had a trouble-free journey. I'm sure you have started visiting already. Inspired by the beautiful surroundings, Read on, I'm just not gonna stop. However, I make a confession I have a confession to make. Perhaps he has written something about us. Oh ho Wilma, don't get too excited there. Before your departure, I started to organize a concert at the Music Verin in Vienna. I was able to convince a few illustrious colleagues to offer their works. Arthur, you dense, dense person. Read on. I had to call him many favors, but Mr. Schoenberg, Mr. Berg, and Mr. Mahler have all agreed to participate. It will be a glorious evening, and your composition will be the centerpiece. The grand finale. Wilma, imagine it. I understand that this is all very abrupt. So I wanted to take a point uh, to point out that her face has changed to sadness, and Arthur, you are putting a lot of pressure on poor Wilma. And for that, I apologize. Yeah, you better apologize, but now is your time. The musicians start a rehearsal next week. The piece must be ready by then. In anticipation of your return, Arthur. A concert? One week? How is this less pressure? Arthur, how could you? The storm is almost here. How am I supposed to write something if I can't go outside? I am trapped here with a storm outside and within me. Silence. Uh, sorry to rain. How long will the storm continue? Oh! Hello? Yetam Nekto? Oh my god. Excuse me? Oh, German? Yes. Who is this? With whom do you wish to speak? Are you sure you have the right number? Uh. I'm not gonna just assume that he doesn't have the right, uh, the wrong number because we know nothing about him. So who is this? I um, well, my name is Leos. Okay, you can tell me more. Are you still there? Yes. Amazing. I wonder if. Are you close by? Where are you? That okay, Leos. You sound very creepy right now. <laughs> Why are you asking those questions? I'm in Austria, I'm in the Alps. Where are you calling from? I'd rather not say. Yeah, where are you calling from? I, I like her expression right now. I'm in Southern Bohemia. And you, madam? That, that is a very random, random place to be from. In a cloud, I'm far away. I don't want to say I'm far away. Leo, I assure you, I'm a long way away. <laughs> I never would have dreamed of this i was told you can speak over long distances what is this <laughs> leos what the hell are you doing <laughs> what is this who are you but to actually hear a voice it's amazing i can now finally talk to my niece nicole stomach rumbled how about you go ahead and call nicole okay i'm hungry i'm really hungry 
What was that? Uh, nothing. Thunder. There's a storm here. Or what was what? I'm gonna say thunder, because I'm assuming that's what he heard. Thunder. There's a storm here. That sounded a bit closer. Okay, Leos, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, wasn't that you? Or I didn't hear anything. How embarrassing. I'm just, I'm just gonna stop him right there. I'm just gonna say how embarrassing. I'm just gonna tell him what it is. I hear this noise every day. When my guest comes to me with empty bellies. Oh, are you a restaurateur? Are you an innkeeper, Leos? Okay, I am. Why would you... Okay, okay, or whatever. <laughs> Best dumplings in all Bohemia. Oh, you're making me hungry there, Leos. Wonderful when they're fresh out of the pot. With a rich, hearty sauce. Stomach rumbling. Oh man, I wish I could eat that too. I wish I can eat that too, Le uh, Wilma. When you cut into one and the steam comes out. Leos, what are you doing? You're making me so hungry. That sounds delicious. Stop, please. You're torturing me. Sound like you are your own best customer. Hey, that's not very nice, Wilma. I'm just going to say that sounds delicious. They are delicious. You have to come by one day so I can cook some for you. <laughs> okay, Leos, you, you've gone to someone who could be nice to back to creepy. I wish I had some here right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course you wish that. Ho, 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 meow, meow. I apologize. It sounds like you are very hungry. It was a pleasure talking to you, madam. Um, huh. I'm very sorry. Where are my manners? <laughs> I didn't even ask your name. It's Wilma. You've gained my trust, good sir, with your dumpling story, so I shall tell you. Wilma? Wilma? It was a pleasure to speak with you. Oh my god, Leos, you are so creepy. Say, do you think we could talk again sometime soon? They gave me a number. 1255. Maybe. I hope so. Thank you for your call. I really have to eat now. So, uh, thank you for your call. I'll be nice. Thank you for your call. Goodbye, Wilma. Okay. Gotta say, that exchange was... I don't, I don't know what to think of it. It was a little bit creepy. Time for my sandwich. Uh, let's... How am I supposed to find inspiration in nature? I can't go outside. I'm stuck in here. Outside, there's a storm inside me. Silent. Okay, fine. I got it, Wilma. Don't, be, don't need to be so dramatic. What about you? What are you thinking right now? I cannot think clearly. Okay. Stomach rumbles. That sandwich looks delicious. I, I got you. I got you. Let's have that sandwich. That It looks like a hash brown. Wow. It may not be a dumpling, but it tastes delicious. I'm so tired. Okay, Wilma, you are the queen of procrastinating. That's, that's what you are doing right now. You're eating. You're sleeping. You're just not, you just don't want to do work. I get it. It was just too much for my first day. Too much? You just sat there. Oh, okay. You, I guess you are really tired. I kind of feel like you just sat there for most of the time. Outside, behind the building, the sun is rising. Beside Wilma, someone stirs. Someone. Oh, what the? Oh, okay. This has got to be a dream. So myself, what is she? Ah. Okay, Arthur. I'm Arthur. Wilma? Hey, are you awake? No, maybe I am now. Uh, here's a riddle for all of you. What is a question that you can never answer yes to? And that is, are you asleep? So I'm gonna say maybe. Oh, you. It's late. How did we get here? I was just... I have to leave. Uh, stay a little longer or something's wrong? Well, it doesn't feel like something is wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna say stay a little longer, please. With me. I really have to go. I'm expected at the institute. We've been together such a short time, or I'm sleepy, or... But it's your institute. Yes, but it's your institute. You can go in whenever the hell you want. Yes. Yes, and you are my student. We should not be together in the first place. Screw rules. Screw, screw conventions, Arthur. Let's just be together. Is that what we are? Students and teachers, secret lovers are together? Mmm. Together. Distant church bells chimes the hour. I'm guessing this is a dream. You know that hourglass is rotating for quite a long time. Okay, so I guess we're just listening to the ring, the bell ring. 
Time to wake up, Wilma. You are asleep. Oh, six o'clock. I'm already late. What could be so urgent? Who are you meeting? What could be so urgent, Arthur? Today I'm getting Schoenberg contributions. I have to. I have to be there. I will be marvelous. Arthur, we should talk. Imagine the look on their faces when your song is played. Okay, that just took a turn for uh, for <laughs> creepiness. What are you doing? Imagine where you could be in a year. Stop! You're hurting me. The future of music. No. Ow! Oh, Arthur! No! Arthur, you obsessed man. Ah, so it was a dream. Day two. So it just rains every day or something? It was just a dream. Just a dream. Arthur, I was finally with you, but... I want... No. I have to write this composition. But how to start? Wilma, don't write the composition to gain his approval. Okay, that's never a good way to go. Come on, Wilma, concentrate. You've done this before. Anything could be an inspiration. Anything, I guess... Can ye myself be an inspiration? Anything could be an inspiration, I guess, except for yourself. Alright, well, let's see. You got a cabinet door. Oh, poetry could be a very good uh, inspiration. My favorite poem is in here. The Panther by Rainer Maria Rilke. His gaze against the sweeping of the bars has grown so weary it can hold no more. To him, there seems to be a thousand bars, and behind those thousand bars, no world. A dark, strong beast trapped in a cage, the sound of a secluded piano. Behind it, silence. Yes, you write that, you write that song. It was a nice poem. It was a pretty poem, I guess. Hopefully something good, good will come out of it. What was that? I can't hear melodies in this din. There are several noises. I can't. A mighty booming. A blood-curling squealing. A relentless creaking. If only I could block it out. Yeah, what is that noise? That sounds... um. I, is it a paraffin lamp? The lamp! The wind shaking the cabin makes it sway. The squeaking noise gets under her skin. It's back again. Always audible, even when it isn't. I can block it out, I know I can. The noise slowly fades away. Sorry. The noise slowly fades, blurs, dissolves, and is gone. Well, good for you, Wilma. That's a very good skill to have. Uh, hut's porting beam. The wind rattles the cabin. The beam creaks. The fibers in the wood bend and snap. The noise blurs. It fades away. Yes, keep blocking out those sounds. I can't hear melodies in this den. Okay, fine. I'll try to... Uh, the mighty... Uh, binding booming, so it has to be outside then. Okay. I'm the valley and the storm rages with all this howling wind and pounding rain. How can I concentrate? Perhaps I can block out the noise of the storm. Yes. By going outside. Yes, that I, I don't know how that would work, but okay, Wilma. The storm booms overhead. The rain and the wind are so loud. I'm glad I don't have to be out there. But it looks like you're out there. Oh, like literally out there, out there. I see, I get it, I get it. Sorry. The, moon the mountains loom high above me. Vienna is somewhere beyond the mountains. Home is even further. Sky and storm, each drop of water falls from so far above, forming quietly the droplet whooshes downwards, falling at least to earth. Thundering on leaves, grass, stones, from there to my ears. The sound blurs and fades away. I really appreciate how uh, they make test, text um, animated, kind of conveys emotions, and I, and I really like that. And suddenly it is quieter. No Okay, so I guess I, uh, forest? Something shimmers between the trees. You have to look very closely to see it, but you can tell that it is there. A melody hidden between the layers of music. Okay. 
thick forest. It's a wonder I didn't get lost. Okay, so I guess um, that was part of the music that she's composing. The path I came here by, it leads to a mountain pass. Okay, anything else? Flowers? Strange. Why does Arthur have flowers here? Maybe it's for you, Wilma, since you love him so much, and you wish that he loves you too. But I think he's a man obsessed by his job, so I'm sorry, Wilma. Will Wilma find the love of her life within Arthur, while his only priority is music? Or will she cave to the tremendous and unfair pressure that is put upon her by the very person she loves? Either way, Wilma will have to find a way to make herself happy and write the composition for herself and her future. Also, most importantly, will Leos ever stop being creepy? Find out in the part 2 of Lion Song Episode 1.